family. I am Ricky and I am here to welcome you all to the Mouse Bites. So yay, welcome today. And first things first, of course, today is Father's Day. So we would like to say a big happy Father's Day to all the dads out there um, who, you know, support uh, and love each and every one of us, especially my dad. I know he's probably not watching, um, but I still want to send the shout out. So um, happy Father's Day, Dad, and um, I hope that everyone who celebrates Father's Day is having a great day and enjoying um, a little bit of, hopefully maybe, you know, for you Disney fans, a little bit of Disney fun. Um, otherwise, just uh, having a great day overall. Um, we have quite a lot of news for you all today, uh, so we'll get to that in just a minute. Um, I want to say thank you, first of all, to everyone who um, participated in our contest to win the uh, Star Spangled uh, Ears. Uh, we had a lot of fantastic um, entries, and the people who won are being notified as we speak, so um, just keep that in mind. So congratulations to those who won, and um, thanks for playing along. I, you know, we'll have more contests as we continue throughout the year. So make sure you're following along with the mouse for less for all of the details on how you could potentially win something really cool, something really fun. That's of course Disney related. So um, anyway, we're going to get to the news here. And uh, like I said, uh, there's a lot of news. So um, let's get to the fun. Um, first things first, we are going to start with the guardians of the galaxy. Awesome mix live. So uh, this show has returned once again to the Walt Disney World Resort. Uh, it takes place at Epcot. And what the show is, is it's Star-Lord and Gamora. They've returned with their Zandarian friends to Epcot to rock out with the Guardians of the Galaxy Awesome Mix Live show. Um, the show takes place at 1.30, 2.30, 3.45, 6.45, 45, and 8 o'clock p.m. at the American Gardens Theater. I know it sounds corny, and I know it's really hokey, but I've seen the show last year. I saw it last year, I guess I should say, and I have to tell you, it is a ton of fun, and it's kind of one of those things that, while it's small and not like a headliner thing, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing it this summer on my, you know, 4th of July vacation. So uh, I, I know that I'm a little excited about the Guardians of the Galaxy Awesome Mix Live. It's just a fun, entertaining show um, with lots of great music from, you know, the 70s. Uh, so there's lots of fun there, and I don't know. I just find it to be really fun, so... Anyway, if you're going to Epcot this summer and you have a little bit of free time and the show is about to start, make sure you stop by and make sure you see it because, like I said, it's a lot of fun. Um, there are also special snacks that are available for purchase to celebrate uh, the show. You can find out what those snacks are um, in the comments. And, um, you know, there's a, a certain, like, sandwich going around that, uh, well, Let's just say it doesn't look too appealing. Uh, you can find out what that sandwich looks like uh, on uh, the Mouse for Less in our news section. Now let's get back to this part. So for those of you who don't know, we have introduced a brand new news section on the Mouse for Less. So you're going to want to look, uh, you're going to want to go to the mouseforless.com. You're going to look at the top banner and you're going to see all the way on the side, you're going to see the section that says news. You can choose to read the news from all of, you know, Disney news, universal news. You can choose to select what kind of news you want to read. So if you want to read only Walt Disney World news, you can only read that. If you want to read Disneyland news, you can read that. Disney Cruise Line news, Adventures by Disney, Universal Orlando, all the news is segmented or you can read every single bit of news. It just depends on what you want to do. So make sure you are reading the news, following along. Um, and cause I've been working really hard on getting that news section looking great. And, uh, yeah. And, and everybody else has too. So not just me, um, but I've been getting a lot of articles written and things like that. So, um, I hope that you're enjoying that, but yeah, if you want to find out more, make sure you follow along with the news section of the mouse for less. Now, we have some additional news about Rafiki's Planet Watch, which is returning on July 11th. So, scoot over here. Uh, Rafiki's Planet Watch is going to be back with a brand new experience, and this is going to be called the Animation Experience. And what it is, is guests are going to be able to learn how to draw some of the animals that call the park home, um, but they're going to be the Disney-fied versions of those animals. So, it's going to be like you know, Simba or Timon or something like that. 
Um, so then guests will get to take home this uh, piece of artwork that they have done. Um, it's kind of like the uh, academy that used to happen at uh, Disney's Hollywood Studios. Uh, so they're just bringing this out to uh, Rafiki's Planet Watch. Now the one interesting thing to note is this attraction will have Fast Pass Plus. So if you have a kid or you want to make sure that you get to experience the ability to draw um, and, and do these kind of things, you're going to want to make sure to make that Fast Pass Plus reservation. I will give you a couple notes though. One is that this attraction, given it's probably min minimal uh, amount of people that'll get to do it. This might be a fast pass that goes fast. However, you are going to have to keep in mind that this is all the way out in Rafiki's Planet Watch. So you're going to have to take the Wildlife Express train to get there. So keep that in mind when you're booking your fast pass that if you do do this, you you get on the train early enough so that you can make it out for your fast pass time. I just want to make that note because I think that a lot of people may miss that fact of you do have to take the train to get out there to experience your fast pass. So if you want to do the animation experience, you are going to have to put some time and effort into getting out to it. Um, but with that said, Rafiki's Planet Watch, like I said, returns July 11th with the affection section, conservation station, and the wildlife express train as well. So that's kind of exciting news. Um, Restaurantosaurus at Disney's Animal Kingdom is going to be introducing a brand new experience uh, called Restaurantosaurus Burgers and Sundays. Now this is going to be happening on select nights beginning on August 18th. Um, restaurant bur restaurant source burgers and Sundays is going to offer for one price a guest to choose an option from an entree for uh, either burger or a salad or a chicken sandwich or something like that you're gonna get to choose from one side dish which will include either fries or onion rings um, as well as a non-alcoholic beverage and then when you're all done with your meal you can go get uh, they're gonna give you a token and you can go get an ice cream sundae, and it's gonna have a toppings bar kind of situation, so you're gonna to get to pick out what toppings you want on your sundae. Now, the cost of uh, this experience, the Restaurant of Source Burgers and Sundays, is gonna cost $22.99 plus tax for adults, and $14.99 plus tax for children. I will say, this is going to be, I believe, a Disney Dining Plan credit, I believe, um, so if that's the case, this is going to be a great option, a great use for that Disney Dining Plan credit, so just keep that in mind, too. Um, reservations are going to be available starting on June, uh, are, are available now, um, and you can call by, uh, you can call 407-WDW-DINE, and if you want more details about this experience, you can find that out on the mouse for list. Um, a brand new experience at Disney Springs is taking place called Toy Story Drop. Now, what this is, is it is um, through, it happens through August 9th, and guests are going to get the opportunity to play this mobile game for free, um, as well as take photos with the claw and more. Um, if you're looking for more details about what you're going to be able to experience at this ex little pop-up shop thing uh you're gonna get uh, need to check out the mouse for less but for those who want to know a little bit more about the game you can absolutely go ahead and do that at disney springs it's located right outside of paddlefish so if you are looking for it that's where you're gonna go ahead um typhoon lagoon is actually going to be offering cabanas now these cabanas just so you know um will offer guests a mug they're gonna offer guests towels a locker as well as a cooler. They're also going to be private areas, so nobody's going to be able to bother you in these areas. Um, if you want to book a cabana, you can do so by calling 407-WDW Play. Um, so again, if you're looking for kind of a unique upscale experience, make maybe make sure you have all your supplies all in a safe place, that kind of thing. Um, this is going to be a great way to do so, thanks to the cabanas. So um, last but not least. Um, Guests looking to play mini golf on their Walt Disney World vacation can now get tee times in advance at both Disney's Fantasia Gardens as well as Disney's Winter Summerland mini golf courses. You can do so by calling 407-WDW-PLAY. Now, similar to the dining experience, standard booking guidelines are going to apply with the miniature golf uh, tee times. So guests who don't show up and make a reservation are going to be charged that $10 fee. So just keep that in mind. If you are wanting to experience this, you're going to need to make sure if you need to cancel, you do so within 24 hours. So that's all the news that I have for you all this week. Um, again, make sure you're following along with the Mouse for Less on all of our social sites. 
So, of course, you've got Twitter, you've got Facebook, you've got Instagram, you've got YouTube, you've got Pinterest, um, lots of great places to follow us. If we're, you know, pretty much if it's a social site, we're out there. Um, and then also you're going to want to make sure you're signed up for our newsletter. Now, the newsletter goes out next Sunday. So what that means is sign up right now and you're going to get that newsletter in your inbox um, next Sunday. It's going to have all the details of um, some of the latest news. It's also going to have um, some great videos, some uh, great tips and things like that, uh, as well as refurbishments that are taking place. So you're not going to want to miss this. Make sure you go to the mouse for less and you sign up for our fantastic newsletter. Um, we also have another newsletter that goes out that is called Magical Notifications and it gives you notifications of when like there's specials and things like that another great newsletter that you want to sign up for so that way it can help you save money on your next Walt Disney World or Disneyland or vacation. So again, make sure you're signed up for our newsletters. Other than that, I hope you all have a great rest of your Father's Day and um, I guess that's going to do it for me. So we'll see you all next week. Bye everybody.